projects are converting uh, over 4 million tons of mass to energy every second. And it's no maintenance. That thing just works. We have a giant fusion reactor in the sky. That is the sun. In fact, people like, someone's like, well, what about in radiation? I'm like, the sun is literally a nuclear reactor in the sky. Yeah. Are you scared to go in daylight? <laughs> Rocks have radiation. Yes. Yeah. The, the r- radiation risk is greatly uh, overestimated. Yeah. When we hear the name SpaceX, it reminds us of rockets, satellites, aerospace missions, and etc. Basically, SpaceX is an American aerospace company founded in 2002 by the world's first future trillionaire, Elon Musk, that helped us usher in an era of commercial spaceflight, which was just an imagination before the existence of this company. The full name of SpaceX is Space Exploration Technologies Corporation. The goals behind the establishment of this company were to revolutionize the aerospace industry to make spaceflight more affordable. But this time, Musk is about to surprise the whole world with his new business tactic. You should pause the video right away and guess what I'm talking about. Then let me know in the comment section. Generally, we all often hold the fantasy of being able to visit space, sharing a passion for the world of astronauts and a secret love for new missions. With technology constantly progressing, modernized approaches are improving steadily. So, space technologies are definitely not lagging behind anymore. Definitely not with Elon Musk fully set on leaving his mark in this arena. It all began back in 2001, when Musk and a couple of his friends traveled to Russia to purchase some intercontinental ballistic missiles. Back then, the man hadn't been on the lookout to kickstart a business at that time, and had wished to spend his fortune on purchasing a Russian rocket at a cheap price and use it for delivering some plants or mice to Mars and also ensure their safe return. Yet the meeting proved to be unsuccessful, leading to Musk reaching the conclusion that he could prepare the rockets himself. SpaceX came to be a couple months later. That's how SpaceX came to be. Musk's aim was to develop a rocket being both low cost and reusable, and which held the capacity of being able to undertake multiple trips. With the purpose of accomplishing this, Musk recruited the rocket designer Tom Mueller, with whom the platform invested two years in setting up Falcon 1. A portion of the endeavor was contributed by Musk, who invested $100 million from his own personal funds. Although, as a basic rule, no company can achieve success overnight. Hence, the initial years of SpaceX were grim, with it being on the verge of fizzling out, as per Musk. Yet the platform went on to make history by launching their Falcon 1 rocket. But here, the company again saw the face of failure. The Falcon 1 succeeded in its fourth attempt, following three unsuccessful attempts. It succeeded in venturing into space in 2008. In 2010, Falcon 9 emerged as the primary private space shuttle for traveling to and from Earth orbit. Hence, we can say that SpaceX was definitely not an overnight success, with the company's founders and investors playing an incredible role in helping it make its mark today. But as I told you earlier, Musk is all set to surprise the world, and that surprise was revealed by Musk himself. He is all set to establish SpaceX's new nuclear reactor. Yes, you heard it right. Now, in the upcoming future, you can see SpaceX dealing with nuclear trades with different countries. Elon Musk is famous for his overly ambitious goals and world-changing inventions. And if you know him, you might be familiar with his mission to establish a sustainable and clean environment. He sees a future where energy will be cheap, abundant, and sustainable. A future that is advanced as well as environmentally friendly. And that's why recently, this big step has been made in this direction, with SpaceX's extraordinary nuclear reactor. But why is it extraordinary? What makes it unique? Nuclear reactors can be used to generate massive amounts of power, and the only problem that comes with it is that they're super dangerous and really heavy. But Musk is building a portable nuclear power generator that makes it different from others. This power generator is a lightweight, cost-effective microreactor, 
the former SpaceX engineers have created the world's first portable zero emissions power source that can be quickly installed in cities and bring power to remote areas. According to a former SpaceX engineer who worked on developing energy sources for a Mars colony, Microreactors offer the most promise for supplying power to settlements on Mars. He saw an immediate opportunity to use technology on Earth, which led to the founding of Radiant with two other SpaceX colleagues in the past. SpaceX has built some amazing machines, but apparently for some engineers revolutionizing space isn't enough. And these engineers have formed Radiant, which is a new startup. They promise space-grade micronuclear reactors that will revolutionize portable sustainable energy. Radiant announced having received two provisional patents for its portable nuclear reactor technology. One patent covered the cost and time of refueling the reactor, while the other addresses its heat transfer efficiency from the core of the reactor, among other reasons. Some say fusion is a safer way to generate nuclear energy due to the fact that fission produces long-lasting radioactive waste while fusion does not. Nuclear fission is the process used by conventional nuclear reactors. With a fission reaction, a neutron slams into a larger atom, splitting it into smaller atoms, which release large amounts of energy, whereas fusion is the opposite reaction to fission. With fusion, smaller atoms slam together and join into a heavier atom, thereby releasing energy. Fusion is the process by which the sun generates energy. But the problem is, with today's technology, fusion consumes all of its energy to sustain its reaction and leaves nothing for other things to be powered by. It has not been possible to commercialize fusion so far, despite efforts by a number of companies. Therefore, Radiant said it has raised $1.2 million in angel investments to create a mobile power generation system. Here's an interesting thing you'd like to know. The Radiant nuclear reactors use helium instead of water to cool. By doing so, corrosion, boiling, and contamination risks are greatly reduced. And, according to Radiant, these reactors use particle fuel that does not melt and can also handle higher temperatures than traditional nuclear fuels. And this could also be a very unique feature of this project. SpaceX is also working around ways to refuel the reactors and also efficiently transport heat out of the reactor core, which is also a very important aspect of nuclear reactors. However, the micro-reactor will use an advanced particle field that will not melt it down, and reactors will be able to withstand higher temperatures than traditional nuclear fuels. At the time, helium coolants reduce corrosion and contamination risks associated with traditional water cooling systems. The Radiant Company has contracted with the Battelle Energy Alliance to test its portable microreactors at the Idaho National Laboratory. As there is a huge demand for micro and modular reactors on Earth, it's likely Radiant will have plenty of customers, so they'll have the money to develop their reactors properly, and this will give them a gigantic leg up on their competitors. Elon Musk declared it in a pro-nuclear project. In an interview, Musk said nuclear energy is considered clean energy because generating nuclear energy does not release greenhouse gases. But due to some high-profile accidents, as we've seen in the past, like in 2011, the Fukushima nuclear disaster, and in 1986, the Chernobyl disaster, nuclear power plants can have a bad reputation. But the Tesla and SpaceX CEO has considered these modern nuclear power plants safe, contrary to what people may think. He assured that his company will make a very safe nuclear reactor. Because in the past, Mother Earth has witnessed a lot of terrible experiences in the name of nuclear energy. Who could forget the Second World War in which Hiroshima and Nagasaki faced the most terrifying nuclear attack? Nearly 80 years after the bombings occurred, most of the generation that was alive during the attack has passed away. Now much more attention has turned to the children born to the survivors. Regarding individuals who had been exposed to radiation before birth, studies such as one led by E. Nakashima in 1994 have shown that exposure led to increases in small head size and mental disability, as well as impairment in physical growth. Persons exposed in utero were also found to have a lower increase in cancer rate than survivors who were children at the time of the attack. Hence, as we've seen SpaceX working in aerospace so efficiently, we wish it'll also boom its nuclear market and set a new definition of nuclear power in this modern world. So that's all for today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this.